Hi, I'm Rob Hampton. Today I want to teach you how to make a mysterious, magical, haunting sound on your guitar. It's called a harmonic. Check this out. Aren't those beautiful? Harmonics have a little different sound than the normal notes we play on guitar. They sound kind of like bells. And it's this strangeness that makes them sound so magical. First, I'm gonna teach you how to play a harmonic and make it sound gorgeous. Then I'll show you where you can find them on your fretboard. And then I'll show you how to use them to spice up the ending of a song. I have four tips for getting great harmonics. First of all, put your finger directly over the fret wire. Just gently touch your first finger over the 12th string fret wire. The 12th fret probably has double dots up here. And the fret wire is the little strip of metal. You can just use your pointer finger for now. You are not fretting the string like normal. In that case, your finger would be over here, right? Instead, you're lightly touching the string exactly over the little strip of metal. My second tip is to touch the string lightly. Touch the string super lightly, like just so you can barely feel it. If you had a pet ladybug, this is how hard you would pat it on its back. Good little ladybug. Tip three, pick the string hard. So slot your pick between the first and second strings resting it against the first string, and then push down so that the string snaps from under your pick, like this. You have to pick surprisingly hard to produce what is ultimately a gentle sound. If I was not touching the string, this is what it would sound like. So I'm picking pretty hard. Tip four, after you pick, lift your finger off the string. So for a harmonic to sustain, you need to stop touching the string, but it's a two-step process. Play your harmonic, then lift your finger. Step one, step two. Your brain is gonna wanna make the two movements simultaneously, but that's too early. Step one, step two. You're probably wondering where you can play harmonics. Well, they can be played on any string, but not every fret. They're most easily played on the 12th fret, producing a pitch that's one octave higher than the open string notes. The next easiest spot is at the seventh fret, producing notes one octave higher than the notes you would get when fretting at the seventh fret. See how this note is one octave higher than that note. And then finally, you can get harmonics at the fifth fret too, which uh, produce notes that are two octaves higher than the open string notes. Practice your harmonics in these three spots on every string. As they get higher and more difficult, double down on touching lightly and picking hard. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you really wanna take your guitar playing to the next level, click the link in the description to become a member of Heartwood Guitar and get access to clear, enjoyable, frustration-free guitar courses and lessons. So how do you use harmonics to spice up your music? Well, one obvious way is to end a song by playing some chord tones of whatever chord you're ending on. So say you're strumming a song in the key of G, usually you'll end on a G chord to make the song sound done, right? After you strum that G chord, you can pop up to the 12th fret and play harmonics on the fourth, third, and second strings. So it'd sound something like this. Isn't that lovely? You can do the same kind of thing for a song in the key of D, but now you're gonna be playing those ending harmonics on the seventh fret instead of the 12th. If you're digging harmonics and wanna explore further, check out the intro to Roundabout by Yes. or Red Barchetta by Rush. Those prog rockers love harmonics. And please remember to like and subscribe. And if you really wanna get the good stuff, become a member of Heartwood Guitar. You can click the link below to learn more. Take care.